All right, let's do an update. Today is Tuesday. I have my follow-up tomorrow, which I can't wait. I'm really hoping I get these stupid ex um, drains out. The last couple of days have been completely awful, if I'm being honest. I hate to make anybody be in fear for doing this or anything like that, but man, it's been... It's been a time for me, um, just a uh, very um, personal issue is I haven't been able to use the restroom since surgery and it's been very, very painful and hard to get through even though I've done everything I feel like I can do to prevent that because my double mastectomy, I went nine days and I did not wanna do that ever again so I took Miralax every day. I've been eating fresh fruit and vegetables every day, high fiber every day, and I drank 10 liters of water in four days. So here I am still in this predicament, but this too shall pass, right? Let's try to be positive about it. Anyways, back to the surgery part. Um, I will share that the pain has been pretty intense every now and then. I've been taking my Vicodin or hydrocodone or whatever, which is probably why I'm in this situation I'm in, um, every five hours instead of six um, until a couple days ago. A couple days ago, I started doing every six hours. Last night, I was, I'm so tired of what's going on that I just stopped taking it. So now I'm without pain meds for 24 hours and it's, um, it's a time but I'm able to get through it. So I would say if you have struggles with that, I would strongly encourage you to go like eight hours in between pain meds or just don't take them. So if you can push yourself through it, then I would do that and that's what I'm doing. Uh, my drains have been draining pretty consistently. I'm a little worried they're not gonna take them out tomorrow to be honest, just because I've had, excuse me, quite a bit of liquid in there. Um, but it's been at or below 30 every day and yesterday and the day before, I think 25. So I'm really hoping that they take them out because they're very uncomfortable. I feel like I would have a lot less pain if I didn't have, you know, holes in my body with tubes sucking liquid out of them. If I can be graphic for everyone that's watching this, um, and having to deal with that. So I had a very... I'll be vulnerable for a moment. I had a very tough time last night. So I was emptying my drains and I literally felt the, you know, the fluid coming from the actual hole itself. I got inside my own head. I started freaking out about it, like infection or like, am I doing this right or whatever? And if anybody who knows me personally knows, like I am kind of a freak when it comes to cleanliness. And so I've I've kept everything like super clean, sterile. I use alcohol all the time, like Clorox wipes everywhere. Like I'm just kind of a freak about that anyways. So I feel like I've gone above and beyond what most people do. So I think I'm fine. I'm just like, I got inside my own head and like really had a time last night. Just broke down and started crying. And that's just not like me. My dog's literally never, I don't even think he's ever seen me cry. Um, so he was really freaking out last night. My husband is like beside himself because he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't handle these things near as well as, as I. Like, if I'm going through something, he takes it way worse than I do. So I'm comforting him during my hard time. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's probably a good thing. Um, so he's just, like, praying with me and, like, rubbing a rag on my face and trying so hard to help me. Bless his heart. But, man, it was a time. So I broke down. I am back. I am positive. I feel like... I have to be getting on the other side of this thing um, and I'm just going to stand on that and I'm going to stand on my faith and trust God that this is his plan for me. There is a plan for me and it's for good and I'm just going to hold on to that and, um, go, and go with it. So I am now, I don't know what time it is, I, time is like irrelevant at this point to me but let's see. Um, oh geez. Okay. All right. So I think it's like 4 PM or something. Um, so I've slept like all day. My hair is like so great. I love this for me right now. I am loving it. I'm like day six out of haircut or I'm geez, 
God help me, uh, hair wash. However, I was so smart and scheduled a haircut. So I'm getting my hair washed and cut tomorrow afternoon. And I'm really pumped about that. Um, because I've just been bird bathing it like, you know, for six days, which is gross. Um, and my hair is just, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. This was kind of a, a more of a rant than my typical update, but it is what it is. I'm just being vulnerable and I want girls to know like what to expect and what I'm going through so that they can expect it. So, um, when I have my exchange surgery to get these stupid expanders out and my implants in, I am going to go like so hardcore on fiber and laxatives and all of that to see if that helps. And I will let you all know if you want to know, you know, the deepest of my inside workings, whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is where I'm at and I'm feeling pretty good considering no pain meds for over 24 hours. Um, I did spill water like all down the front of myself because I was, like I said, sleeping basically all day today, all night and all day today. So I spilled water like all down myself. I felt it go down in between my freaking expanders. I'm not going to say boobs because I don't have those anymore, but that's fine. Um, between my expanders, you know, I'm just panicking, you know, infection again. I'm like, nope, it's fine. It's clean water. It's fresh water. It's filtered water. I drink Fiji water, so it's fine. Um, and I'm just going to go with it. So here I am, you know, day six, post-op, no pain meds, feel pretty freaking good for no pain meds. Um, the surgical site itself is like a non-issue at this point as far as pain. I mean, every now and then I feel nerve pain. Nerve pain can be described as like a stinging, burning, uh, like wave of stinging and burning, I guess. Um, but as far as like, um, incision pain, I don't really feel that. I think it's just because it's numb. Um, I had no feeling in my incision area after my double mastectomy. So I'm guessing that's probably, you know, what's going on there. I feel the drains. I feel the holes of the drains. I feel everything to do with those. So I'm really hoping those come out tomorrow. I will give you an update after my, um, visit tomorrow. I'm really excited to see everything cause I'm still, you know, all up in this get up and haven't seen anything at all except for, you know, what little bit of cleavage I have right now. Um, so yeah, anyways, for all the people who like know me personally, sorry for the TMI everywhere. And I guess if you, if it's hard for you to look at me later, that's fine. I'll be fine. Cause I don't get, you know, embarrassed or whatever. So it's fine. Um, anyways, I've said it's fine. Like 10,000 times during this video, I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to go post this thing and show everybody my real, you know, update and just be raw with you. Just like I promised. Um, but Day six, feeling good. I still would do this surgery again. So anybody who sees this and says, oh no, no, do it. I promise you do it. This is, I feel so much better right now than I did six days ago with the freaking capsular contracture and the implants just being like squeezed to death. It feels so great right now compared to that. So do it. If you have capsular contracture, do the surgery, take care of yourself, stay clean eat fiber. Love you. See you in a couple days.